Hello everybody and welcome back and basically what we will do right now is I will show you how you will install a tool that we will be using in order to perform our man in the middle attack. Now that tool is called basically man in the middle framework and it comes well it doesn't come pre-installed on Kali Linux so you will have to install it from the github repository and after that we just need to install some of the requirements that it has and basically after that you will be good to go and you will be able to run the program now I already have it installed right here as we can see it is right here man in the middle framework so but I will still show you how you can download it yourself so go to the Firefox open up your Firefox and basically what you want to search is just MITMF and then uh, GitHub. So you open up the first link and we will download it from there. Let me just open this up. And let's search MITMF GitHub. So we click there, press enter. And we'll open up the first link that comes up, which is this one. So click on it. And you will see that this this is the tool that we will use. Now, if you scroll down here, you will see its files, and here you will see some of the explanations. So it says right here this project is no longer being updated. So uh, you might need to add some configurations yourself if it doesn't work. Uh, so, but we will also but we will install the requirements ourselves. So here you have some of the features here you have the description MITMF aims to provide a one-step shop for men in the middle and network tags while updating and improving existing attacks and techniques so active packet filtering modification you can also use uh, Skippy to do that as we can see right here this is some ICMP packet just this is just an example uh, here we have some of the examples of the usage we will basically cover all of these or most of these uh, in the next lectures for now on we just want to install this program let me see if there is something down here currently available plugins you can see what it currently has so we have HDA drop by SM SMB trap screenshotter we will also cover that respond all SSL strip that was what I was talking about if the uh, you can use the SSL strip to bypass some of the HTTPS websites in order to decrypt their data here we have spoof so we will be using the ARP spoofing also some of the DNS spoofing uh, you have some of the other options such as inject file phone browser browser profiler and keyloggers and all of the other stuff that we will also cover so right now what we want to do is just download this file so let's copy the link and basically open up our terminal let me just type in my root password so change to the desktop and we type here git clone and then paste the link and add .git so this will download the file for us uh, well for you since for me it already exists as I said I already have it downloaded right here and once you do that once it downloads and it copies the the file into the MITMF the MITMF directory you want to change the path to that directory and you will have this file right here called requirements.txt now in order in order to install those requirements you just want to type here pip install minus r requirements.txt and it will install install all of the requirements it needs in order to run this program now that could take a few minutes to finish depending on how many requirements you already have satisfied but once it finished that you, once once it finishes that you basically just want to tap, type here mitmf.py and it will run the program for you now i believe i need to specify or wait let me just check something okay so it gives us the output of that program as you can see there are a bunch of options right here here we got some pretty banner right here you can type minus minus help which basically gives you the same output as this command which without the minus minus help we have some of the other options such as interface that we will have to specify at all of the times port read config file filter spoof arp icmp dhcp so these are just a bunch of the options for spoofing with the r packet the icmp packet the dhcp packet dns packets and so on uh, shell shock payload we did cover what shell shock is uh, you will also need to specify the gateway so the program knows who is the router 
uh, here we have the load plugin so we can inject the J JavaScript code so that could be interesting here we have some of the white IPs black IPs white domains black domains inject content only for these domains so this is basically just whitelisting and blacklisting we have the G JavaScript keylogger as we can see right here we will also try to use that and we have a bunch of these other options that we can use as well. Now, we will cover all of those in the next videos. Uh, for now on, I just want to show you how you can install this tool and you can see what kind of options it provides. So, the other tool that we will also cover after this, uh, but not so de but not in details, would be the Ethercap. It comes pre-installed in Cal Linux and also I have it installed right here. So you will be able to use it without downloading it. We'll cover some of the basings for it as well. It is also used for the man in the middle attacks. And you, after this section, you will have a really good understanding of how man in the middle attacks work. And you will also know uh, how to perform them. But you will also know that it is something that can be really detected. So our spoofing is especially easily detected. And I will also show you how you can do that. It can also be done with a simple Python program, which we will make later on. But for now on, that would be it. So in the next lectures, we will continue using these two tools. And I hope I see you there. Bye.